Hi there, if you're new to me and this channel, my name is Martin, I take photographs of stuffs. It can be anything really. Today it's a kind of a still life top down shot. What is the plan here? Well, I was thinking I should not use flashes. For the first time I'm not shooting with flashes, I think. Many are asking for doing still life shots without flashes because flashes can be a bit expensive when you're starting out. So I want to show that you don't need flashes to take great sh sh shots and put it on Instagram, you know, you just can crush it without any flashes. Just have some kind of camera. I have this camera up here today. Do you see it? Yes, I think so, yeah? Top down shooting. And I have this uh, IKEA table called Lack. And when I bought this at IKEA, I also bought some sugrör straws. And I was thinking maybe we can use these guys together with some cans. I have two Red Bull cans here. Blue one and a white one. Did I say red? No. Okay. So let's do this without any flash. Just a camera and some random light. I have some video lights here for this recording. There is the camera, the video camera is right there. And then I have two LEDs that we shoot up in the ceiling. I have a white ceiling and this just makes this room, you know, makes me a bit flat lighting, just some um, overall ambient light, I guess. So you can, you can do, you can use anything because these LEDs, they are set at quite warm temperature. 3200 Kelvin, but you don't have to care about that at all today. Um, it's the same color temperature as like IKEA spots or IKEA lamps. They're often around uh, 3200. This warm and nice, you know, comes from the caves, the Stone Age, you know. Uh, we really like this warm color from the fire, you know. So take any kind of light or Use daylight, I mean, outside, go outside in the shade, or you can be inside using some kind of lamps. Bounce them up in the ceiling. Don't, don't mind these colors, because we will fix this in the computer. Okay, so let's start. This is Capture One. You can use any kind of software. Capture One, Lightroom, EOS Utility for Canon, Nikon. Olympus, Penta, I think all of them have this free shooting into the computer, but you don't have to do this. I mean, it's so much easier. I will show you why it's very easy. Just connect a USB cable and it goes into the computer. And then you start a program and the images will show up here. It's very, 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 very good. So let's do this. You see here, we have Canon, my Canon 5D here. And uh, I always tell you when you're shooting with flash, this is the settings you should use. 1, 200, maximum shutter sync speed, flash sync speed for the shutter. And uh, the ISO always the lowest and uh, around F8, like a normal aperture, you know not too short depth of field, you will have sharpness in the shot. But we, I will change this today. Aperture 4, and then I can put up the ISO to 400. The, the, you, you know, the modern cameras, they can handle this ISO 400, no problem. Especially if you're posting on Instagram. <laughs> so, um, and this is the thing, the shutter. So let's start with, what should we put it on? One. 20th of a second. What will we get then? You see, now we will get some light. I mean, we will get this light. It will stick on the camera sensor. So that's a good thing. So now we can start to do the composition. I have this on a quite expensive tripod, expensive arm, super expensive head for the camera, expensive camera, but I would like to show you that you don't need to have this quite cheap um, Mafroto tripod 
and uh, just a very simple ball head and the camera attached. Some of these uh, tripods, they come with this center column and the good thing about this is that you can shoot like this. You pull this up and then you do it like this, like magic. And make sure that you have like a counterweight here so it doesn't tip over. But now, you know, now you can shoot top down suddenly. This is a super good thing to have really. So look for a tripod with a center column that you can tip over, you know. Many of these softwares have live view and this is, this is super nice. In Capture One you have this button here and I will press it and now we're in live view. Hello, see there. So now we can see when we will do our set, do the composition. So I will start with placing these two cans of Red Bull and I use this tacket to stick on the, on the bottom here, I mean on the back side, so they will not move. It's good to clean them. The funny thing about this, this one I just dropped, so it's dented here, totally destroyed. So always buy backup if you like me, throw it on the floor, the concrete floor, and this will not look good in a photo. But now I only have these two guys, so we have to use it. So, let's take a look here. We will try to do some kind of composition. Maybe we'll place one right here, like that. There is one. And uh, then we have the, the white one. The Kokos blåbärs smak. And where should we place this one? Maybe if it if you find it hard to know where to place the stuff, you know, you have this. There is a grid, this one. And now it's like the rule of thirds, you know, where the, the lines are. Now I guess it's around the right spot. Maybe I can lower it a bit. Maybe you can turn it a tiny bit. Like this. This is totally up to you how you would like to do your compositions. I don't really follow any rules. I follow my stomach, I guess. You know, I could place them over this side, but now I chose to go for like the rule of thirds, you know, where the lines are crossing here and up there. And I don't want them to be totally parallel, not in this shot, because there will be chaos, random chaos with these straws. This is the plan. We'll see how it will look. So maybe we should set a bit of focus on these guys. And uh, should we take a shot and see how it will look now? Let's take a shot and see what we will get. Now you might say, well, this looks horrible. This doesn't look that nice. Of course not. We have to use the magic wand and that is the white balance tool. This one. You pick this and then you click on a white area. You know, it doesn't matter that you have this yellow ugly light. You can always white balance in the program. Always shoot in raw. You know, that's the best. Fantastico, I would say. Look at this one. I dropped up here, bump, and there's the... I think they look quite fine, you know. But we can maybe tweak it a bit. But first, I think we should throw in some straws, you know. Because they are blue and white, you know. And... Uh, there are no rules here, really. I would just throw in some random stuff here. And this is just an example how you can be creative, you know. You can do anything, you can shoot anything, and then you can color match it. Um, 
or you can find your own theme, you know, anything. And this will look kind of uh, nice on your, in your portfolio and uh, on Instagram and whatever, you know. People will be so impressed, you know. Oh, how did you do this? So let's take another one now and see how it will look. You can always go to the live view and you can take a look. Oh, maybe you should not have double here. It's so easy to see. Maybe we should not have three over here. Chaos. But I like it. Maybe one white over here. Do we have one more white? Yes. Stay, please. Okay, let's go for this. And let's take a shot and see what we have. Boom! This is cool, don't you think? I don't like this. You see this one? The eye goes there. And it's kind of irritating that they are so tied together. So I will take another one shot and move that bit. Now it feels better. So I'm quite happy with this. Yes, let's go for this. I wish I had one more white. Yeah, we have white. Maybe, maybe one down, maybe two. And let's take a shot. Now it will be fine. Just adding a few down here. Okay, let's go for this. Maybe just one more. There's something over here. Maybe that one. Now, we can go for it like this, you know. It's totally fine. I love it. But can we do something for these cans? Well, the reason why they look kind of nice, you see this strike of light here, this is the ceiling, because the ceiling is huge and uh, the can will pick this up, this big soft light. But maybe we can add a bit on the side, I don't know. If I put this one, on the side here. I have no idea how it will look because I'm sitting down. I should really stand up, but I'm lazy today. So I just put on live view. When I pull this in, you see here what's going on. We get a stripe of light. And let's take a shot and see how this will look. It should be something here. Yes, I like this because if you get this hard edge, it will make the cans even more shiny, glossy. So I think we should leave it there. What else? I have a black one, because we have a This is like a diffusion frame I built myself. It's very beaten up right now, but it works. Diffusion paper. This will work exactly the same as this shelf white, bounce back. I just want to see how that will look. Yeah, there's something going on there on both cans actually. You see on the white one here, we have this on the bull. What will happen if I, maybe it's nice that like it is, but maybe what will happen if I put this, I'm trying to do the same as the other one. Now we get the dark stripe there. I think it's the, the frame of this. Oh, let's take a shot. Let's see what happens. Yes, we get a hard edge there. Because if you have a hard edge there on the blue, it can be nice maybe to have one, uh, one over at the white one too. Did we have this hard edge before? Actually, it was softer. It's like a gradient going on here. And the question is, is this nicer than this soft? I'm not so sure. Because this one affecting the blue one too, you know, I think it's fine. Let's go for this. And then we have a s one up on the white too there. Now, one thing I like to do, I like to crop the photo, all my photos. Um, let's go for five by seven. I'm not in love with this original format that these uh, cameras shooting two by three, they become so wide or so tall, especially tall when you're shooting vertically. Now we're shooting horizontally, but I like it like this. Now it becomes a bit more, it looks a bit more pro, I think. And do we need to do something? No, I think it's done. No editing, no nothing really. And you know, there we have the final shot. 
you know, do your own creations. It's very simple. Just go out and buy two cans of Red Bull, some uh, straws at IKEA, and there you are. No flash, just a camera, any camera really, you know. I really hope this was useful a bit for you and uh, please subscribe if you are not subscribed and hit the bell and you will get a notification next time there will be a video up, okay? Thank you for watching and you know, as always, I will see you next time.